Welcome back to North of the Broad. Reverend Chad Lawrence is with us now. Dr. Lawrence is the headmaster of Holy Trinity Classical Christian School here in the Buford area. And Dr. Lawrence, we've talked several times over the last several months, a lot going on with the school. Um, you had a wonderful trip mm. to the to the, the Holy Land back right. in January, I think Jan it was. End of January, beginning of February. Yes, and it's so rewarding and so fulfilling for the for the senior class. And we'll talk about the senior class right, right. in a right. few minutes. But so, how are you faring? How are the students doing with the online um, education, yeah, the teaching? I, you know, you, you you try to do the best you can under these circumstances. They're they're difficult to be sure, and um, we're seeking to adjust. And I realize that you know families are, are in very different situations, and so we as a school have gone to, as, as all the schools have gone to, distance learning. And for our school, it, it's a, a bit of a challenge. We're very much a hand-to-hand, -hand, yeah, face-to-face -face, uh, yes. type of, of right. school in valuing the classical education yes. and, and how people learn well and, and just the humanity of, of yes. teaching. And, and that, in large measure, has been ripped away. And so we are, as everyone is having to do, having to adjust. So we've gone to distance, distance learning. And um, so, do the teachers have a lot to learn? I mean, had you kind of had this platform already in place? No, I mean, well, they had a lot to learn, and yeah. kudos to them. Yep. And it's they've we have excellent teachers, and I'm not surprised to see the excellence emerging in new ways. But we've gone to something called Google Classroom for yes. posting assignments, yep. and there's a learning curve there. We're oh, still learning, and then a lot of Zoom yes. conferencing or. Um, recording, and that's been a, a challenge. Is a challenge yeah. for me. I've I've had to learn how to record. I, we do <laughs> daily chapel, so I'm recording every day and learning how to communicate uh, on that new platform. But big thanks to the teachers who are working really hard to make that continue. And the and the parents, you know, oh, and the it, families, they're having to have a special, I, I guess, a, a special place in their home for the students to, mm -hmm. you know, have their online, you know, Zoom meetings right. and all of that. So, I mean, it's a whole, a whole awakening for parents. It is, it is. And, and um, you know, one of the analogies that I've heard that I think is really helpful during these times is, have you ever walked through Pluff Mud? <laughs> you know that feeling of just you 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 yeah you're just, you you want to go more quickly but you can only move so quickly right and a lot of what we're doing right now feels like we're watching walking in pluff mud things that might take 10 minutes take, take 30 minutes right and so the teachers are trying to be mindful and not overloading the parents but parents they're in a wide variety of circumstances robin you have some who are working full-time right. jobs and now have three students they're trying to, to also teach in addition and, right. to, to preparing meals and running the households and for everyone it's an adjustment sometimes there aren't enough devices to go around um, right and and the and bandwidth you yeah you yes. have to share, share in the bandwidth that. so we've 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 really tried to be mindful of that and flexible and working with parents, but boy, are they taking on a lot. And and, and, and again, so lessons learned for the future in all of this. Yeah, um, as earlier today, <laughs> I, I had someone contact me and say, you know, well, now if we go on hurricanes, we know how to <laughs> right. do this platform. That's right. But that's a good point in terms that of is. lessons to learn. Um, and I've had regular weekly Zoom meetings with all of the teachers over mm -hmm. the past. You know, every mm -hmm. week we have our Zoom meetings. and. The encouragement is that we continue to press on to become even better teachers. And there are some things actually virtual learning is can work beautifully. Can, can do even better. better. Yes. One on one sessions or yes. writing. Yes. And so th those areas are where the teachers are really trying to hone in yeah. and using this to, to become even better educators. So that yes. that's that's exciting, that's, I that think. That is exciting. Mm -hmm. So Let's talk about the senior class. This is the first right. class to graduate. <clears throat> um, of course, they had their trip in, in end of January or which February. I'm very grateful yes. that we. Could, I know. Um, another oh. couple of weeks, we wouldn't have had That's that. Right. But we were able to go, yes. and if nothing else, that cannot be taken away. No. Mm -mm. But it's tough. I mean, we were talking just the other day as administrators. How are we going to approach graduation yes. and commencement exercises and all that? And our school has been building to this moment My of having note. graduates yes. for eight years, and now we're finally here, and we don't know <laughs> where we're going. You still to. don't have your plans. Well, in we, place. Have, we, you have, have, we have options. We have options, okay. and and we just don't know at this point what's going to happen. So. 
but the seniors are very much on my heart and mind, mm -hmm. and um, I guess it prepares them in some way for the um, independence they will face when they go to college. And so, and they're in this little pre-time and learning how to mm -hmm. how to structure their time. Mm -hmm. and, but they're, I think about them all the time. Well, as a, as a pastor, as a priest, um, can you give us some <clears throat> words of encouragement? for our, our viewers, for our, our, your stu our students, sure. our families, our community, Reverend Lawrence. I cling to a passage that I memorized very early in my Christian walk, which is Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all, thing God, all things, God works for the good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And sometimes it's hard to see where the good is in the midst of the suffering. So we cling on to that promise that God will work all things for our good, for the good of those we love and um, you know this is Easter and it's I a know. time of yeah. uh, when when our Lord suffered but our Lord also rose again and so God is in the business of taking dire hopeless situations and using them for our great good it's hard to see right now but that's but, what we cling to and teaches us to be stronger and gives us that strength uh, to, yeah. uh, to, right. to be better yeah. people Sure, to, and to, to strive to, to love one another and yes. to love God. We're all in this together. That's, we, that's it's, absolutely. It's, and help our neighbor. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Reverend Lawrence, appreciate your time My today joy. so much. And I'll be Thank thinking you, about the seniors. They would have graduated. What would what, What's the official graduation date, if June, everything? June 5th, June, June 6th. 5th. And you know okay. a lot of our seniors. Yes, you, I do. You've interviewed them. So, so thank you so much. Yeah, thank and, you. And we'll be right back with North of the Broad.